Hello everyone, welcome back to Linkle of the Wild. And you'll notice I have a lot of marks on my map now because these are where all the memories that we're missing are. Um, one in Hyrule Castle, one over here on Death Mountain, one way the heck over there, and then wherever the fourth one went. Oh, right there. Um, so yeah, it's not going to be too hard to collect them. Um, we should be able to kind of just hit them all at once, really. <coughs> um, the only other ones that we're missing are the special... Hello. Right after that guy said something about the dragon. There he is. Going underneath me. I'm the eldest horn. <laughs> yeah, my goods from the Lowland Village. It's a very simple, sleepy town. I play this traditional treasure chest game of chance there. It takes me back to my childhood for some reason. Hey, how's it's enough talk. Let's get down to business. Donkey's back is packed with top choice merchandise. Take your time browsing. No thanks. I mean, do I really want to go down there? I've already gotten it. Technically. Also, you were glitching through the thing just now. Eh. I'm not gonna bother with that. Hello, Karak. Yay for bows that have distance. Boop, boop, boop. Yeah, hey, you found me. Bye-bye. Hey -bye. for bows with distance. All right. I don't know what you're selling, but I probably don't need it. Harsh. I know. But it's the truth. Um... I was going to say, that said, this is where I need to be, the Floria River, or the Floria Bridge here. Um, let's see. All right. Let's, uh, let's stop here, actually. Um, I mean, this would be a lot easier if I had the Zora armor. Um, aside from that shrine, is there any other, like, immediately accessible shrines in this area? No, that's the closest. Okay. Um, I mean, unless I can climb all the way up there, that is right near where I need to go. Um... But I'd have to climb all the way up. So this really is like, either I go and get the Zora armor and come back, or I just do this now when, I mean, we have full stamina, so I should be able to climb. Um, here we go. That was not what I wanted to do. Thank you, Linkle, for not doing that. Well, we do have the, uh, the full salvagers set. And while it doesn't offer us the ability to climb up waterfalls, it does vastly increase our swimming speed. So I can utilize that for a bit. Plus I can show it off here. I think I'll uh, just hold on, hold on to this armor for a little bit here. While we're doing this section. If I had the full Zora set, it would be easier because I have the higher swim speed and I'd just be able to swim up the waterfalls, but this will work well enough. Because <laughs> it's a whole series of quests and things to get the full Zora suit. Um, I mean, you can fly, you know, you can go up waterfalls with just the Zora, um, like, chest piece, but, uh, what? 
Stone Talus. Ow. Okay. That's not even a problem. In fact, that's relatively easy. Okay. I have no problems with this. And regular stone talus are fairly on the easy side. Especially when you have the royal bow and bomb arrows. <laughs> I'll admit the the continuous like restoration of my bomb arrows might be a little overpowered. <laughs> I'll admit to that. So but that's it. I'll admit to it. Doesn't mean I'm going to do anything about it. Because, I mean, I like the fact that I have bomb arrows. Hey, I have not made the ancient arrows regenerate and be infinite. So, I mean, if I really wanted to be overpowered, I could do that. But, I mean, we're overpowered enough as it is anyway, so it doesn't really matter. So we have, like, the maximum level. Oh, I think that's it right there. We have, like, the maximum level armors here. At least in some stuff, anyway. Ah, uh, Cryonis. Luckily, I haven't seen any crashes from the set yet. We definitely would have had them by now. Is that the EX? Can't tell. Probably. That's probably it. Nope, that's just a regular metal chest. Or is it? Yep, no, that's just a regular metal chest. Where the heck? Is it that one? Where the heck is this? Um... It's... Supposed to have been that one, according to the guide here. It says it's supposed to be right there. It says that is literally it. Well, let's check this other chest, and if it's not, then we will just go higher. I can always revolve scale up these gaps and things, you know? This looks like just a regular metal chest again. Yep, nope, that's just a regular chest. That's an opal. Alright, well, let's... Let me just revolve scale up here. This is the only... Ow! Oh. Yep, nope. I'm not far enough. I see it. There is another waterfall. I thought that was the topmost waterfall. It's not. There is, in fact, one higher up here, as we have seen. That is, you know, right over there. Wait. What do I have that's electric? You say, what do I have this lightning? <laughs> Only with a full set of swimming gear could I have just done that. That was great. What, lightning but no rain? 
Because uh, bomb arrows are definitely going off here. This is the chest I'm after, I think. Also supposed to be a shrine right nearby. There it is. That's the Yak chest. Phantom Ganon Skull. Alrighty. I think there's a sh supposed to be a shrine somewhere around here though. Ow, even further up. Forget that. I'm just here for the Phantom Ganon set. So... All right, let's head across here. Boom, lightning. Go ahead and I'll just cross here. So I need to be over here somewhere. No idea where, but it's over here somewhere. It's like down here, it says. It's in the Ibarra forest, it says, so. I'm obviously not the greatest at reading maps, so I don't trust myself to take a look at the map and go, oh, it's right there, and then just find it that way, because it's obviously not what's going to happen here. But there it is. There's the Phantom Ganon Greaves. Neat! Alright, so the next place we need to go is actually back. We gotta go over here. Th this spot right here. We need to go over there. We actually need to go back. We can go to Faron Tower and we'll go from there. And then we just gotta go off uh, the lake there. So... Okay. All right. So now we're here. So we need to go that way. This way is the way to go. It's the way, that's the way to go. Got it. I just gotta go up there. And then we should be able to find the usurper helm. And then once we have the usurper helm. Now we can go for the merchant hood. Because those are what's right in this area here. So. Just gotta go to the north. Alright. How are we doing on time? Oh, pff, we still got plenty. We have plenty of time. Alright, so this is the Sea of Dead Trees, or whatever it was that he said. You can see all the dead trees here, because they're in the middle of the mountains here, I assume. And I guess that's... The, my assumption as to why the trees are dead in this area, anyway. Oh, hi there. Boom. 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 Down. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't even initiate the fight. 
before he was dead. I love it. Ooh. Well, Halbred, yes, please. That's a good weapon. Um, I mean, not as good as the Royal Broadsword, but... Can get rid of the Edge of Duality. And then I've got another Royal Broadsword here. I think I'm alright on weapons, though. I'll pick it up. Um, we'll just replace the... I'm just replacing the Knights there with it. Definitely want the Royal Bow over the Duplex Bow, thank you. Whoops, going the wrong way. That was funny. <laughs> like, I hovered over the Hinox because he hadn't loaded fully. That's what that, like, pause was. It was loading in, like, the mobs and stuff, including the Hinox. And then, like, once I got over and saw him, I was like, oh. Well, you're dead. <laughs> Uh, are you that chest? I thought you were over in this direction. Oh, that's endless bog. That is endless bog. I did not realize that. This is not something... Okay, I guess you can cry on this endless bog. That's a new one. <laughs> I did that just thinking, oh, this isn't going to work. And yet, that literally did work. How about that? Oh, cool. Zed's helmet. It's the uh, Master Koga helmet. Interesting. Do I look like a Yiga or do I look like a Shika with the Yiga helmet? <laughs> There's also this that we picked up. Girahim Linkle. Which I think is really interesting. I still like this outfit. So I could have sworn I put in the thing that made her hair white, but... Supposed to have white hair due to uh, um, hair changing or hair color thing that I put in, but either A, it's not working, or B, that was not one of the ones I replaced and I just thought it was. Can I just go over this mountain by any chance? Yeah, this looks like the best spot right here. I mean, I need to get over this mountain and over to that snake thing on the other side, so... I can just, like, climb up right here. That would be great. Climb right up and over onto the dragon. That would be great. Um, let's see. Sorry, hang on. I thought I had something open, but I didn't. Oh, no, I did. Okay. Never mind. That's what I was looking at. Okay. Wait, where the heck is that? Oh. Wait, what? Way up there? Did I literally miss that? Or did I already do this one? No. What the heck? It's literally right there? Like, I learned about this stuff in the Daya River and in the Daya Village Ruins, and apparently it's all the way up right next to the Daya Village Ruins where I was. That's slightly disappointing. That means I was right there to pick up the DLC, and I did not. I bet somebody has already left a comment on that episode. It hasn't aired yet, by the way, so... I bet somebody left a comment on that episode like, Serene, you completely missed it! There's a DLC item there in the Day of Village Ruins. I'm just like, yeah, so I do know that now. <laughs> you know, 
much, much later on. Yo, I'm recording this right now when, like, episode 30 is up. So, like, I'm way ahead in recording. <laughs> Uh, I'm okay with it, though. I really am. Okay, so the shrine I'm after is literally right here. Um, guess I could just drop down and go. Just fly on over. I don't think I need to kill a certain amount of enemies or anything. I just have to get there. And there's just, like, a big mob that's usually in the way, but... I can literally just go around them by coming over this way. <laughs> Show your courage by completely avoiding all the mobs and everything. I showed my courage. Yeah, see? There, there's the guys over there. I showed my courage by completely avoiding all the enemies. Just thought I'd let you know. Now, where's that scale? <laughs> uh, Ferrosh scale. Bloom. And that's probably the trial, so I probably won't have a trial here. It's probably a blessing shrine. We'll find out. I don't remember. I think two of them were, and one of them was not. I think power... I think Wisdom and Courage were both blessings, but the Power Shrine was not, because that was the whole idea was that you still had to prove your power on that one. But the other ones, like, were blessings. But we'll find out. We're about to go down, so... Still got some time in this episode. Yep, Blessing Shrine. Shay Katha's Blessing. Neat! Spirit Orb! That is one of the 12 that was modified. So we can have maximum stamina and health. Ba -ba -da -ba. May the gold is smile upon you. This is have a hard time detecting you if you press L to crouch and quietly approach them. Indeed. Wonder if there's a shrine near the Day of Ruins? There's a memory. Shelter from the storm. I we got that one, right? Shelter from the storm. Number eleven? Yeah, we got that one. Okay. There's There is one, and it is probably closer. They're the same distance, but I would have to climb this mountain here. Um, but you know what? Let's climb this mountain anyway. Why? Because we've gone the other way. We haven't gone this way yet. Let's see what things there are to see, you know? Well, let's collect mushrooms. Why not? Only do shrooms if they are like legitimately legitimate mushrooms that are not drugs. <laughs> if they're not drugs, feel free to consume all the mushrooms you want. Well, as long as they're not poisonous anyway. You definitely don't want to consume like a toadstool or something like that. I know, I know. The princess of the Mushroom Kingdom, her name is Toadstool. So you want to eat Toadstools because, you know, they've got the same name, but don't. They're not good for you. It would be very, it would be a very bad day for you if you were to eat the Toadstool. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm saying. I'm just trying to just randomly say something so that, you know, there's some level of entertainment. Because, you know, we're trekking across this land, making our way up here. 
It's like here, actually. I swear I was right there. I'm gonna have to go back and find the episode that I go into the Day of Ruins and check. And then be like, yes, I was right there on the DLC. And then... Because it probably was. And there's a blood moon. Because why isn't there a blood moon? I bet it's down the well. The moon rises once again. Now we just have to wait for it to load all the mobs. Because I you know, skipped over the blood moon cutscene. What do you know? Nope, that's actually not in the X chest. It's just a regular metal chest. Eightfold blade, but my inventory is full. I don't need it, so whatever. I was gonna be all proud of myself. I was like, look, inside the well. Nope. Do you see a chest over that way? That's not where it says it's at. It says it's over here. It says it's back this way, it looks like. I'm also really bad at media reading maps. So for all I know, I could have been going towards it. And then now I've screwed up because I tried to read the map. This is why I have GPS when I try to go anywhere. Where is this? Oh, wait, is that not? Yep, that was, uh, so remember what I said about I'm bad at reading maps. <laughs> I, uh, I, I was reading the quest location where you find the book not um you know this okay so wait what oh what the heck there's a hand there. That's that. That's awesome. That's why. It, that's why it's the right hand because there's literally a hand here. Hey, look, Karak. Like literally, this is a hand. Let me guess. Actually, underneath or something like that. I'm only looking at the map. I'm not looking at the actual guide to tell me where exactly to go. Hmm.
Maybe I'll have to look at the guide to tell me exactly where to go. I don't even see the block for the Korok puzzle. I'm concerned that things maybe haven't loaded or something in this area. Actually, they would have by now. Um, like under the claws with the Magnesis rune. Aha! There. Zelda can't uh, come to you. Perfectly fine. I wasn't trying to do that. Uh, it was just me holding the down button. Rob Yo's hood! The hood of a traveling merchant who had a bracelet that could turn the wearer into a painting. Wearing it increases your sideways climbing speed. It's a rather rare find. Yay! EX treasure! So there is still the garb of the woods. There's still the fairy clothes. And I am surprised that I've not yet done Phantasma. Along with uh, the Royal Guard rumors. Um, that begs the question. Where the heck is this? Where the Menowat River is? Born? Where is that? Quartel Lake? I Hmm. I have no idea. It's just the south of the lake tower and the lake region just above the river is Corto Lake where the river begins. Right. But you're frozen for some reason. Oh, okay. Well, in any case, I'm going to figure out where this is. Uh, this episode has obviously gone on long enough. Um, so I do hope you've enjoyed. If you have, feel free to subscribe. Check the video description down below for a link to the playlist. That way you can get caught up on any episodes you might have missed. And uh, with that... I'll see you guys next time. See you later.